All right, you guys, welcome to class. My name is Teacher Chad. Uh, this hour is a uh, beginning and intermediate reading class. Okay, it's very similar to my advanced class, but the stories are, are, are a little shorter. We read a little bit less, um, and uh, the words are, are a little less complicated as well. Okay, but still meant to uh, uh, push you and challenge your pronunciations as well as the, uh, is the, your reading abilities. Okay? The, uh, the link that we are we're taking a look at is in the class materials. All right, let me put the let me put the link in the uh, Verbling chat box as well. Okay. Uh, very good. So let's see who we have here in class so far. Hi there, Victor. How you doing? Hello, Mr. Chat. I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? Awesome. I'm doing great. Uh, I okay. bet it's uh, early morning for you right now, Victor. Is that right? <laughs> exactly. I only only wake yeah? up. Yeah. Woke up. <laughs> you just barely, you just barely woke up. <laughs> yes, and uh, and uh, all at right. the time I go to you. <laughs> awesome. Well, it's a it's a pleasure to have you here. All right. How about uh, how about Joy? How you doing, Joy? Hi, I'm very well. Thank you. Good, good. Welcome back. Thank uh, and you. we also have and we also have Amparo. Uh, welcome back to class, Amparo. Thank you. All right, you guys. Let's uh, let's go ahead and get rolling. So when you open up the link, this is what you'll see. Um, Scroll down to the bottom where you see extra stories. Okay, and that's where we're at. And yesterday we started a little bit on story 18. Um, so we're going to uh, uh, start it one more time. I think we only read one or two paragraphs. So we'll start it up and, and go ahead and finish it. So we're on story 18. Put up with it. Put up with it. Okay. All right, very good. So let's start off with Victor here. Okay, Victor, go ahead and read this first paragraph uh, mm -hmm. down to uh, was too loud, please. The bouncing was driving Edward crazy. A new neighbor had just moved into the apartment below him. The newcomer was dead, or seemed to be, because he played his stereo loud enough for the whole building to hear. On the first day that he heard the stereo blasting away, Edward marched downstairs and politely told the new corner that his stereo was too loud. Okay, very good. All right, let's go to let's go to the word deaf. Right here, the word is deaf. Deaf. Okay, very good. Uh, next up, we have the word him. Make sure to pronounce that uh, that. I like a short I sound. Hi, him. Him. Okay, good. And our last word here is neighbor. Okay, ending on a good R sound. Neighbor. 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 All right, very good. Very good. All right, nice job. Thank you. Okay, let's go to Joy. Yes. Joy, go ahead and, uh, and start here where it says, he asked the new tenant. Okay, finish this paragraph. And read down to here where it says, not going to be tolerated. He asked the new tenant to turn the volume down and keep it down as long as he lived in the building. The tenant appeared surprised and embarrassed, embarrassed, embarrassed and said, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize it was that that loud, so Edward returned upstairs, feeling good because he had taken a stand and politely let the newcomer know that loud music was not going to be tolerated. Okay, nice. Uh, let's go to the word tolerated. All right, so the stress is at the very beginning of the word. Tolerated. Tolerated. 
Okay, good. One more time. Tall, tolerated. Tall, tolerated. Okay, good. Uh, next up is the word newcomer. Okay, so the stress is at the beginning. This O is an uh sound. Okay, so it's newcomer. Newcomer. Good. Next up is the word um, realize. The word here is realize. Realized. Okay, now on this word here, you added a T at the very end saying realized. Uh -huh. All right, uh, so end on that Z only. Realize. Realize. Okay, good. Um, next word here is volume. 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 Okay, very good. Uh, next up we have the word uh, tenant. Instead of tenant, okay, the word is tenant. Tenant. Okay, good. Good, nice job. Thank, Thank you. you. No problem. Uh, let's go to Amparo. All right. And Amparo, let me have you uh, finish this paragraph here and read the next uh, couple lines down to value of your words. The next day, all was quiet, and Edward continued to be pleased with himself. The following day, Edward thought it must be 4th of July because a marching band was playing on his street. Of course, it wasn't a 4th of July, and it wasn't a marching band. It was the new neighbor who was playing his music loud again. Edward uh, was not one to repeat himself. Feeling that each time you repeated yourself, you diminished the value of your words. Words. Okay, all right, good. All right, let's uh, go to the word your instead of your. Okay, uh, yeah, so your words. your words. Try that. Your words. Your words. Okay, good. Uh, let's go to the word band. Now, uh, with the vowel sound here, you are adding an E saying uh, uh, band. Band. All right, it's ba. Band. Band. There you go. Good. And our last word here is um, continued. All right. So our stress is here on T, T I. Okay. So the C O N is K. Right. So continued. Continued. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. Okay. Uh, nice job. Thank you. Okay. Let's go to Samir. How are you doing, Samir? I'm doing great, thank you. Um, Samir, let me have you read uh, from So He uh, So He Did, okay? And come down to here where it says, and his girlfriend in the chest, please. So he did what he always did. He made the girlfriend in the chest. And period. Eventually, they would move away. What else are you going to do? Los and Los Angeles a year ago, uh, a woman had complained to her upstairs neighbor that he was playing his drums too loud and too often. The drummer repeated, repeatedly ignored her. He told her to stop whining. One day, the woman walked upstairs and shot the drama in the head and his girlfriend in the chest. Wow, she must have been serious. Okay, uh, good, let's go to the word head. Okay, instead of hit, all right, short E sound, he, head. Okay, good. Uh, next, uh, next up, we have the word upstairs. Okay, this is a long A sound. Upstair, upstairs. Upstairs. Okay, stress on the end of the word. Upstairs. Upstairs. Okay, very good. Uh, next, we have the word ago. Instead of ego, it's ago. Ago. All right, one more time. Ago. 
Okay, good. And our last word is the word move instead of move. Move away, it's moo, move. Move. Okay. All right, nice job. Thank you. All right, let's go to Victor. Okay, Victor, uh, let me have you finish up the story, please, from the woman was sentenced down to the end. The woman was sentenced to prison for 20 years. The dead drama won't bother anyone anymore with his drama. But the woman might be wishing now that she had learned to glean and be read. Being senten sentenced to prison for 20 years is probably much worse than having to listen to drums blasting over him. At least, if she were still living in her apartment, she could always move. When you are in prison, you don't have that opinion. Op option. Okay, very good. All right, let's go to the word overhead. Okay, so this is going to be a short E sound instead of overhead. Here, it's overhead. 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 Okay, very good. Uh, next up, we have the word listen. Okay, this is a short I sound instead of li, listen. It's li, listen. 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 Okay, good, good. Uh, next, we have the word... Uh-oh. Okay, next we have the word bear. Okay, this is bear it. Bear, bear it. Bear it. All right, very good. Okay, uh, next we have the word um, prison instead of uh, prison. Prison, it's pri prison. Prison. Good. And our last word here is the word wo woman instead of wo woman. Okay, use an uh sound. Wo woman. Woman. All right, good. Good, nice job. Thank you. All right, let's go to our next story, you guys. Okay, this is story 19, and Joy, let's go to you. Nice. All right, please read from uh, Perry's Perry's 32nd birthday, and read down to here where it says uh, he was hoping for something. Perry's 32nd birthday was today. His wife, Amanda, had promised him something special. Harry couldn't imagine imagine what it might be. He already already had everything he needed or wanted. Whatever she was going to give him, it was definitely going to be a surprise. He she had not asked him whether he wanted anything. And he had not drop, dropped any hints, suggesting that he was hoping for something. Okay, good. All right, let's go to the word sug right here. So this is suggesting, sug, suggesting. Sug, sug, suggesting. Uh, one more time. Sug, suggesting. Sug. Suggesting. Okay, good. Uh, right up above there, we have the word we weather. The word is weather. Weather. All right, very good. Uh, next up, we have the word definitely. Right here, definitely. Definitely. Okay. All right, good. Let's go to the word. Um, uh, let's see. This is uh, right here. Okay, promised. Instead of promised, it's pra, promised. Promised. Okay, good. And our last word is the word his. Okay, short I sound instead of he, he's, it's his. His. Okay, very good. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. No problem. Let's go to Amparo. All right, Amparo, please read from In Fact. Okay, uh, finish the paragraph and read down to here where it says, uh, asked what the surprise was. 
<clears throat> in fact, his plan was simply to watch TV and ignore the event. There was certainly nothing interesting or exciting about turning 32. When he got home from work, he changed into his shorts and t-shirt and took their dog pretty boy for a walk. When he returned, Amanda had also gotten home from work. She gave him a kiss and told him happy birthday. He thanked her and asked what the surprise was. Okay, very good. All right, let's go to surprise was. So we need to end with the uh, Z sound here. So this is surprise was. Surprise was. Okay, good. Um, let's also go to uh, the word t-shirt. Okay, end with that T sound. T-shirt. T-shirt. Okay, good. And last word here is the word changed with the ED ending. Change. Okay, one more try. Give me a D at the end. It's changed. Changed. There you go. Good. Good. Nice job. Thank All right, you. thank you. Okay, let's go to Samir. Yes. Samir, can you hear me okay? Yeah, fine. All right, very good. Okay, Samir, please read from She Told Him. Okay. Um, finish the paragraph, read the line, and then read down to where it says, I don't hear any sounds. She told him that it was on the pillow in the bedroom. He went into the bedroom and found a brightly uh, rabbit box with a big uh, clue for it. Uh, he brought it out to the living room. Why don't you try to guess what? It is Amanda suggested. Okay, Harry replied, "It is not a motorcycle or a household. It's not my Christmas point. It's not an outfit. I don't see any other clothes in the bathroom, and I don't hear any sound." Okay, very, very good, very good. Let's go to the word. Uh, let's go to the word pet right here instead of uh, now give me a good P sound and also short E instead of pit All right, it's pe, pet okay. okay very good uh, next up we have the word um, suggested sug suggested suggested okay good good uh, let's go to uh, the words um, so it's a big blue bow on it. A big blue bow on it. A big blue bow on it. Okay, very good. Uh, next up is the word package. All right, give me a good P sound here. Pa, package. Package. All right, good. And our last word here, instead of wrap it, it's wrapped. Wrapped. All right, all right, very good. All right, nice job, thank you. All right. Okay, so we've got some newcomers to class. Uh, Noe, how are you? Noe, make sure that you unmute yourself because I cannot hear you right now. All right, how about Jada? Hi, Jada, how are you? Hello, Chad. I'm fine, thanks. I'm happy to be here again. Good. Yeah, I'm happy to have you back in class. Uh, let's have you continue reading, please. All right, and we are going to go from, well, maybe it's Turtle. Okay, so from here, um, finish these uh, one-liners, and then come down to here where it says, was a little rubber doll, please. Okay. Well, oh, I can see the screen. Okay, uh, wish, but I can see the. Okay, screen. so down down below, okay. all right, on the screen, you see where there's all the different icons. 
right? You, you can see mine. You can see Amparo. You can see uh, um, uh, yes. Joy's here. Okay, so um, find mine and then click on it, and a blue box should appear around it. Once you do that, you'll be able to see what I show on the screen, and that's the only thing that you'll you'll be able to look at. Okay. Does that make sense? Well, maybe it's a total. Yes. Okay. Well, maybe it's a turtle. Amanda smiled. Yes, that could explain the silence, but turtles still need to breathe, Perry remarked. It's not a book or a video or a CD, is it? No, you're not even close, remember. It's something special. Well, you've got me. Perry said. Puzzled something special in a box that was only about one cubic foot. He told Amanda that he gave, gave up. She told him to unwrap the box. After opening, all he found was a little rubber doll. Okay, very good. All right, let's go to... All right, let's go to the word uh, puzzled. Right here, instead of puzzled, okay, the word is puzzled. Puzzled. Ah, huh? one more time. Puzzled. Puzzled. Okay, very good. Uh, next word here is the word special. Here you added an E saying eh, special. The word is special. Special. Okay. All right. Very good. Uh, next word here is the word breathe. Okay. So this is going to be a voiced TH. That's when you have the th sound. Okay. It makes a sound. So the word is breathe. Breathe. Okay, one more time. Okay, and give me a good BR instead of breathe. Okay, force your tongue down to pronounce that R sound. The word is brr, breathe. Breathe. Okay, all right, good, nice job, nice job. And our, uh, our last word here is turtle. All right, so this T here at the end is going to be uh, uh, pronounced like a D sound. Turtle. 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 Good, good. All right, nice job. Thank you, Jada. Thank you, Chef. Sure, no problem. Uh, Noe, are you there? I'm here. Hey, how you doing? I'm fine, thanks. Great, great. Uh, okay, Noe, let me have you read the last little bit here, and then I'll have you continue reading on our next story, okay? Go ahead and read okay. those, uh, those three lines, please. Okay. Um, what's this? He asked. It's a boy, silly. I'm pregnant, Amanda Bimmel, and his name is going to be Perry Jr. Okay, very good. All right, let's go to the word pregnant. Right here, pregnant. the word is, uh -huh, one more time, pregnant. Pregnant. Okay, good. And last word here is what's, what's this, what's this? What's this? Okay, good, good, nice job. All right, let's go to our next story, you guys. Okay, this is story number 20. All right, and Noe, let me have you continue reading, please, okay. from the very beginning, um, and read down to here where it says, Jeffrey uh, in check, please. It was, as usual, a hot and sunny July for Independence Day. Eight-year-old Jeffrey was excited about the annual parade. He wanted to see everything and he wanted to see it now. But the parade wouldn't start until 10 o'clock. 
His mom, Julia, tried to keep Jeffrey in check. Okay, nice job. All right, let's go to the word wouldn't. All right, so when you pronounce this uh, word here, you use the G saying wouldn't. All right. So with uh, with a word with words that start off with the W, you want to make sure you start with an oo sound. All right, and then slide into the rest of the word. Okay. For example, this word is oo wouldn't. Try that. Wouldn't. Okay. One more time. Start off with an oo oo wouldn't. Wouldn't. Okay, now you're almost there. You're saying oo wouldn't. All right, the word would be oo oo oo. So it's two vowel sounds, oo and u. Uh. One more try. Okay, so this is wouldn't. Wouldn't. There you go. Okay, good, nice job. Let's go to the word parade. The word is parade. Parade. Okay, good. And our last word here is the name. The name is. Jeffrey, Jeffrey, Jeffrey. Okay, good, good, nice job, thank you. All right, so let's go. Uh, let's go back to uh, Victor here. Yeah. All right, Victor, let me have you read from. Uh, she made him clean. Okay, uh, finish the paragraph. And then read down to here where it says uh, they were usually lying to. Please. She made him clean his room and take the dog for a walk. When he finished this chores, she walked with him to the parade road, which extended about two miles along Main Street. The parade, as usual, was wonderful. It started with a high school band and the marching drum band. Then followed about a dozen government dignitaries in conver convertibles, smiling and waving at the people they were usually lying to. Okay, very good. Uh, all right, let's go to uh, the, the word convertibles. Okay, give me a good V sound here. Convertibles. Convertibles. Okay, good. Good. Next word here is dignitaries. Okay, stress at the very beginning of the word. Dignitaries. Dignitaries. Okay, good. Um, let's practice the word parade. So instead of par, parade, okay, we start off with an er sound. Per, parade. 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 Okay, good. And our last word is the word finished. The word is pronounced finished instead of finished. Okay? F fi finished. Finished. All right, finished. very good. Very good. Nice job. Thank you. Okay, so line two. And let's go to Joy. Yes. Okay, Joy, please continue reading from after that. There were clowns. Okay, finish the paragraph. And read till. Read to here where it says, and lasted two hours. After that, there were clowns, junglers, exotic cars, racing cars, and classic cars. In the woven among the cars were by scouts, girls, scouts, students representing various elementary schools, the local mountain rescue squad, and local realtors throwing out free candy with their misted card attached. Three bands played music from their rolling truck beds. The parade, parade continued more than 500 participants and last lasted two hours. Okay, very good. All right, now this word here is participants. Participants. 
participant. Okay, all and right. Uh, you short eyes here. So participants, participants. Uh, participant. Okay, all right, good. Next word here is contained. Okay, the word is pronounced contained. Contained. Okay, very good. Uh, next up is the word um, elementary. Right here, elementary. Elementary. All right, very nice. Next up is the word representing. Okay, the word is representing. Representing. Okay, one more time. Representing. Representing. Okay, good. And our last word is jugglers. Jug. Jugglers. 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 All right, one more time. Jugglers. Jugglers. Okay, all right, very good. Very good, much better. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. No problem. Now let's go to Amparo. Amparo, please read from uh, Flag Balloons. Okay, finish the, the paragraph here. And read down to uh, here where it says, um, and 20 other kids got totally wet. Flat uh, balloons and trash receptacles were everywhere. The sidewalks were full of uh, uh, spectators, dished to their owners. About 200 dogs also attended the parade, most of them sniffing, barking at, and playing with each other. The final part of the parade was the fire trucks blowing their horn and spraying all the kids who ran out into the street yelling and laughing. Jeffrey ran out with about 20 other kids and got totally wet. Okay, very good. All right, let's look at the word totally. Totally. Yeah, instead of totally, one more time, totally. Totally. All right, very good. Uh, next up, we have the word um, other. All right, so here instead of each each other, it's each uh, other. Each other. Okay, very good. Uh, next up, we have the word leashed. Long E sound here. Lee. Leashed. Leashed. Okay, very good. And our our last one here is spectators. Instead of eh, spectators, take off that E. Spectators. Spectators. Okay, one more time. Spectators. All right, remove Spectator. that E there. There you go. Spectators. Good, good. All right, nice okay, job. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> no problem. Let's go to Let's go to Samir. And Samir, let me have you finish up this uh, this story here and I'll have you uh, read a bit more on our next story, please. Go ahead. From his shirt clung to his body. His shirt clung to his body. Water was squishing out of his shoes when he finally came back to the sidewalk. A huge smile was on his face. That was great, Mom. Mom, he exclaimed, did you see that? When I go up, I'm going to be a fireman. Okay, very good. Very good. Um, first word here is exclaimed. Okay, so this is a long A sound. Exclaimed. Try that. Exclaimed. Okay, very good. And our last word here is came. Instead of come back, this is uh, he finally came back. Try that. He finally came back. All right, nice job. Nice job. Okay, so let's go to our next story, you guys. And Samir, I'll have you uh, continue reading. Um, please read this first paragraph from 58-year-old. Okay, down to before taxes. A 58-year-old grandmother in Massachusetts born 
one of the biggest prices in US history 294 million dollars if she had taken the 26 year, year pick up Doris Steven, Stevens would have received 11 million dollars a year for 26 years before taxes Okay, nice job, nice job. All right, now the word I want to practice with you is the word dollars. Okay, so uh, yeah, here instead of saying dollars, okay, we're gonna we're gonna use an ah sound here. Okay, da dollars. Da dollar. Okay, now the a r at the end of the word is going to equal an e r instead of dollars. Okay, it's dollars, dollars. Dollars. There you go. Good. That's how we pronounce that word. Dollars. Okay. Now everything else was really good, Samir. Very good job. Nice yeah. reading. Yeah. All right. Let's go to Java. Let's see here. Okay, Java. Let me have you read this next paragraph, please, from Mrs. Stevens down to Purse, please. Java, are you there? Yes. Yep, okay, very good, very good. Uh, go ahead and read this paragraph from Miss Stevens down to put in her purse. It seems like you may have a, uh, a uh, problem with your connection there, Jada. Um, all right, let me move on. See if, it's see if, so. yeah, let's okay. see if it, it uh, uh, gets better in just a bit. I'll check back with you in just one second, okay? Uh, Noe, let me have you read this uh, selected paragraph from uh, Mrs. Stevens down to put in her purse, please. Okay. Mr. Stevens decided to take the lump, the lump sum payment. People who take the lump sum get paid within 60 days, but the local toll payment is reduced by almost 40%. Mr. Stevens' lump sum was $168 million, but after the federal tax was applied, she received $110 million. That's the amount that Mr. Stevens got to put in her purse. Okay, very good, very good. All right, let's go to. All right, let's go to the word million. Instead of mil, million, it's mil, million. Million. Okay, very good. Uh, now, uh, with the number 40, okay, at the end of that word, there's a TY. Or, uh, and you would pronounce it 40. Okay, we'll change the T to a D sound. All right, the word is 40. 40. 40. 40. Okay, very good. Uh, next up is the word almost. Almost. Stress at the end of the word. Almost. Almost? Mm -hmm. One more time. Almost. Almost. Okay, good. And last one here. All right. Now, if you see an S at the end, sorry, if you see, if you see an S here, that is going to be Mrs. You had read that as Mr. Okay. This is Mrs. Mrs. Stevens. Try that. Mrs. Stevens. There you go. There you go. Good. Good. Nice job. Thank you. You're welcome, teacher. All righty. Let's go to um, Andrew. Yes, hello Chad. Hey Andrew, how you doing? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good, and you? I'm doing great, thank you. All right, uh, let me have you continue from recently divorced. Finish this, uh -huh. finish this paragraph, and then read down to here where it says, uh, of course. Okay. <clears throat> recently divorced, Stevens says 
that her ex-husband has already called her to ask about a loan. She laughed. I wouldn't let him a quarter to call the police if he was getting robbed. Let him borrow money from his new young girlfriend who made him so happy. What is she going to do with her wind windfall? Well, the first thing I am going to do is to help out my children and grandchildren, of course. Okay, nice job. All right, let's go to. Let's see. Let's go to the word her. Windfall. Oh yeah. Yeah, wind, windfall. Windfall was just fine. Yeah, but the word her, you you had said here. Yeah, my favorite word. Uh -huh. <laughs> with her, with her, right? There you with go. Her, yeah, windfall. with her, with her windfall. Okay. Um, good. Next one here is uh, happy. Okay, instead of happy. All right, give me a long e sound. Happy. <clears throat> happy. Okay. And one more time. Instead of he, happy, it's ha. Okay. Open your mouth just a little bit more for that vowel sound. Ha. Happy. Happy. Okay. Very good. And our last word here is. Uh, this is says. Uh, says. Yeah. Right here. So short e sound. Okay. Good. Says. Good. Good. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you, Chad. No problem, uh, Jada. Let's uh, let's try out your microphone once again, and we'll see if the connection is uh, is a little better. Uh, please read from next. I hope to. Okay, finish that line, and then read the next paragraph down to solvents and tools. Java? Okay, all right. So let's, uh, yeah, I can't hear you, Java. Let's go to Victor. And Victor, let me have you uh, uh, read this selected portion, please. Next, I hope to revolutionize the house cleaning industry. The house cleaning for her entire life, Mrs. Stevens says she's going to establish Hello. an a national house cleaner helper corporation. The corporation will focus on giving seed money for various individuals and research firms to develop more efficient and more powerful house cleaning solvents and tools. Okay, very good. All right, let's go to the word tools here. Tools. Yeah, instead of tools, tools, it's tools with an oo sound. One more time, tools. Tools. Okay, good. Uh, let's go to the word corporation. Instead of cooperation, it's corpor, corporation. Corporation. All right, very good. And our last word here is hope. Instead of hope, hope, it's ho, hope. Hope. I hope. There you go. There you go. Good. Good. Nice job. Thank you. All right. Let's go to Joy. Uh, yeah. Joy, please read um, uh, most of this paragraph here to uh, when I was last time from when I was last time until you get to new products, please. When was the last time you saw something new in house cleaning? Mrs. Steven Stevens asked, they keep claiming they have they've invented new products that remove any and all blemishes, but they still haven't invented a product that, that remove, removes an ordinary ballpoint in stand from your ordinary white shirt. This industry needs some new products. Okay, nice job. All right, let's go to the word uh, shirt. Okay, give me a good SH sound here. Shirt. Shirt. Okay, very good. Uh, next up, we have the word invented. All right, so 
the word is invented. Stress in the middle, invented. Invented. Okay, good. Uh, next up is the word um, blemishes. Okay, so the stress is at the very beginning of the word. Blemishes. Blemishes. Okay, one more time. Blemish. Instead of a, a, an E saying blemish, it's blemish. Blemishes. Blemishes. There you go. Good, good. All right, let's go to the word products. Instead of products, this is an ah sound. Products. Products. Okay, one more time. End with an S there, so S products. Products. Oh. Products. Okay, one more. There you go. Yeah, products. One more time. Products. Okay, all right, good. And our last word here uh, uses a long A sound. This is clay, claiming, claiming. Clay, claiming. Okay, one more time. Claiming. Claiming. All right, all right, nice job. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Sure, no problem. Let's go to Amparo. Um, Amparo, please read from... Uh, I hope to revolutionize down to the end, and then I'll have you read just a, a little bit more on the next story, please. I hope to revolutionize the cleaning world so that my sisters will have an easier time of it, of it in the future. We've all spent too much time on our hands and knees. If men had to do to have to do house cleaning, you know, that they would be inventing more powerful products every week. Okay, very good. Let's uh, let's try these these three words here one more time. So, uh, they'd be inventing. They'd be inventing. Uh, uh, they'd be inventing. Okay, very good. And last one here for you is weave. Give me a good e sound here. Weave. Weave. There you go. Good. All right, let's go to our next story, you guys. Okay, so this is story number 22. And Amparo, let me have you read this, uh, this, uh, the next two, or the first two sentences here, down to uh, letters on them. Christopher loved to shop at thrift stores. Almost a month ago, he bought a popular word game that used little chips of wood with different letters on them. Okay, very good. All right, now here instead of used, this would be uses. Uses, I put them. Sorry. <laughs> there you go. No worries. And uh, this word here, let's try this out. This is thrift stores. Now the T at the end is silent. Okay. Thrift and you're gonna, stores. yeah, you're gonna mush that S right into the F. Okay. So okay. it's thrift stores. Thrift stores. There you go. Much much easier once we kick out the T. Mm -hmm, yeah. All right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. Nice job. Nice job. Thank Good. You. All right. Let's go to, uh, let's see, Samir. All right. Samir, please read from as he was purchasing it. Okay. Uh, read down to the end of the paragraph and then read uh, till here. Um, until it says 1973, please. As he was purchasing it, the clerk said, Oh, look, the game box hasn't even been opened yet. That might be worth someone. First of all, then the box and sure enough it was completely involved in factory sealed plastic when he looked at the box cover. He saw that pin. The, the name of the game and uh, the description was a copyright date of 1973. Okay, all right, good. Now, let's practice that number one more time. Okay, on 70, okay, switch the T to a D. 1973. 1973. Okay, good, good. Let's go to uh, the word cover. Instead of co cover, this is c cover. Cover. 
Okay, nice job. Uh, this word here is enveloped. 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 All right, very nice. Uh, next up is the word clerk. Instead of Clark, Clar, it's an er sound only. Clur, clerk. Okay, very good. And our last word is purchasing. Okay, the stress is at the very beginning. Purchasing. Purchasing. Okay, let's try it one more time. Purchasing. Purchasing. Okay, very good. All right, let's go to Noe. Yes. And Noe, please read from You Should Put That. Okay, finish this paragraph. Um, read, uh, uh, read to the bottom of this paragraph and down to smiled, please. Okay. You should put that up for auction on the internet and see what happens, the clerk said. Yes, you're right. Christopher agreed. I think I'll... I think I'll give that a try. The rarity of funding is, uh, is part of the what increases its value. And I can't imagine there being very many unopened, unbox, uh, unop unopened boxes of this game still around 30 years later. Maybe it's worth millions. Well, if it is, don't forget who told you about the rapper, the clear smiled. Okay, very good. Let's go to the word rapper instead of ra, rapper. This is rapper. Rapper. Okay, good. Let's go to the word millions. Short I there. Mill. Millions. Millions. Okay, good. Millions. Good, let's go to the word 30. Now here you said dear, dearty. Okay, the I-R is actually pronounced like an E-R. 30. 30. 30. There you go, good. Okay, this word here is pronounced unopened. All right, unopened. All right, the E is a short I sound. Okay, and it is unopened. Unopened. Okay, good. Uh, this word here is imagine. 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 Okay, good. Uh, let's go to the word. Um, all right, your. Your instead of jur. Okay, it's a your. Your sound. Your. Okay, good. And our last word here is ah, auction. Instead of auction, ow, it's ah, auction. 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 Okay, good. All right, nice job. Thank you. And let's go to Andrew, I believe. Uh, yes, Andrew, let's have yeah. you uh, finish up this hour. So from no problem, finish the paragraph, read this next paragraph, and read down to um, uh, word game and hit search. Okay. No problem. You are getting a percentage of anything over 10, 10 bucks, Christopher said. The game itself was priced at only $139, and the clerk gave Christopher the usual 10% senior discount. You've got yourself a deal, partner, she replied laughing. At home, Christopher went online to several action sites looking, looking for his specific product. He couldn't find it anywhere on the auction sites. On the on the auction sites, then he typed in the name of the word "game" and hit search. Okay, very good. Let's go to the word uh, "partner." Okay, right here, partner, partner. Okay, are is are pronounced right? Partner. Uh, yeah, partner. Both of the R's are pronounced. Partner, okay. but the T is not pronounced. She's silent. Okay, partner. Partner. Good. All right. Now this here, you said um, dollar nine. No, you said uh, one ninety nine dollars. Okay. Uh -huh. So 
Oh, let's see. Let's see. You, no, you said three. What did I write down? I wrote down one ninety nine. I'm <laughs> probably meant three. Anyway, dollars. So yeah, let's try that. Let's try the ah uh, here. Okay, so it's da dollars. Okay, dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, last one here is priced. Okay, give me a good T sound. Priced. Priced. Good. Good. All right. Nice job. Okay. Thank you, Chad. No problem. All right, you guys. Thank you for for coming into class. You guys did a uh, a good job. I'm gonna take a break until tomorrow morning. Okay. All right, you guys. See you later. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. See you. See you.